lies. Break free from the empire of lies. Desperate to break away from their imperial oppression and fueled by a malevolent Xenos mind, the twisted citizens of Vika's Sector 16 are in full revolt. Infested, the guard has lost control and it is up to the space marines to rescue the planet from exterminatus by burning out the corruption before it spreads. Buckle up, Buttercup, cause here we go. I, Tycho the Child of Chaos, am so excited to bring you a 40k in 40m to be remembered. Space Marine top player Tack and Gene Stealer Cult Nick are founding Play on Tabletop members and have a long history as opponents. Tack is wickedly hard to beat, especially with his Space Marines, and Nick has a rough record as of late. But these are high risk, high reward armies capable of big damage and brimming with scoring opportunities. We're here to steal your genes! His characters are an Abominant and Acolyte Icon Ward, Clavimus, Jackal Althus, Patriarch, Primus, Reductus Sebatur, and a Sanctus, Little Nick himself. Acolyte Hybrids, Neophyte Hybrids, he's got Aberrants, an Achilles Ridge Runner, Atlan Jackals, some Pure Strain Gene Stealers, his allied units are a Shadow Sword, this is Penelope. This is the most massive tank on the battlefield today. And we will take down the white scars in this sector, place, town, thing. Planet! Planet! This is a weird one. I am playing white scars as well as a Cerasus Lancer. Why? Because Deadly Prince Studios sent us a whole bunch of these amazing effects and I just really wanted to play with all of them. She's got a Gladius task force led by a chaplain on a bike. He's also got a lieutenant with zombie weapon. His battle line are a heavy intercessor squad. He's got assault intercessors with jump packs, more jumper cessors, uh, a ballistus dreadnought, a brutalis dreadnought, a drop pod with deathwind launcher, a gladiator lancer, an infernus squad, and outriders. There's also a storm speeder hail strike, a terminator squad, and the big creamsicle the first, the allied knight serastus. That tank cannot win Nick the game all its own, so I'm actually gonna try to ignore the tank and just take out everything else. Supply drop requires Alpha and Omega objectives to be designated. Alpha objective in the middle and Omega is by the Gene Stealers. Alpha will disappear in turn four and Omega will be the only one remaining in turn five. The Omega objective by the apartments is worth a massive 15 points in the final turn and these generals know it. Expect bitter fighting for it. Victory points will be hard to come by as home objectives only score for the opponent in supply drop. The supply line's mission room will fuel the fight with extra command points, but Crucible of Battle deployment is a very long no man's land. So all these objective markers here, we've got some on top of buildings. They're actually on the bottom floor of the building. But they're just put there for visual sake. Shadow Sword versus Lancer, go! Deception is the rule for the cults. One bike unit and acolytes in reserve, but this can and probably will change. The Primus will have an opportunity to redeploy three cult units and can put units into reserve. The White Scars reserve a drop pod full of Invertus Marines, one squad of Jump Assault Marines, and the Terminators. He's got options. You've watched me before, you know that I like to play aggressively and kind of risk it all, kind of put things on the line, and if I get first turn, great advantages for me. If I don't, kind of disadvantageous. Nick always plays aggressive, and I'm actually counting on that because I've got a lot of fast moving targets. If he comes in to allow me easy charges, that's actually gonna work out in my favor. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> I think my gun's almost as big as your lance. <laughs> or my lance is as big as your gun. <laughs> I'm gonna deploy it right here. This is actually a very commanding position.
I've also brought a very special miniature of mine. It is my Sanctus. It's actually me! It's a Nick miniature that I'm using as my sniper, my Sanctus, and it is going to go hunting tack today. I can see your character there. Normally, I like going second. However, in this game, I think I want to go first just because I do have a lot of reserves and a lot of deep strikes. And allowing your opponent to go first allows them to kind of zone you out. Um, so I really want that first turn. The Terminator's teleport homer is snuck in next to the apartment building near his board edge. I'm rolling the gray dice. You are, and I've got the orange, because orange does... Aha! Wait, no, I don't want that. I want to go second. I will deal with it. I will deal with it. <laughs> Good, luck. Good luck to you. Sponsorship from Deadly Print Studio is really important to us and keeps challenging us to up our game. Looking our best on the battlefield inspires us to make better videos and live better lives. Get inspired at DeadlyPrint.com by clicking the link below for amazing battle effects for all your favorite minis. Paint them up, show them off, feel great, play on. The priority objective is the Omega Objective, designated by Tax Lieutenant. Nix Sanctus picks the Chaplain as a spore target. He will do devastating wounds to his target of choice. I do have something for me this time, is that I have a Primus on the table. Nick has Scout and Redeploy shenanigans. Scouting bites zip forward, arming their grenades of doom. Apparents get pulled off and go into Deep Strike. Trixie Primus. Re-infiltrate my Reductus Saboteur. I'm gonna move her over here. Supply lines gains Nick a second command point. Nick draws capture enemy outpost and secure no man's land. Nick is gonna use new orders right away to drop capture enemy outpost. No prisoners is the redraw. Kill stuff, that's more doable. In the movement phase. You have no more <laughs> command phase shenanigans? I got no more command phase shenanigans. I got okay. lots of shenanigans, but no more command phase shenanigans. Got it, all right. We're gonna go crazy aggressive. Surprise! Really? Nick's gonna be aggressive? <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> These gene slithers are moving up. They can advance and charge, mm -hmm. so I'm going to advance them. Nick advances the gene stealers, and Tack is gonna overwatch them with his bikes. I say one! One goes through! Just one damage, so one's got one wound left. Down to one wound! So, not worth the command point, but... I think it was worth the command point. I love that you spent your command point. Reductus Saboteur is gonna move into the building. And get the objective. And get the objective. It's gonna hide, hopefully be short enough to hide from any sneaky shots here. The Bane Blades crew has yet to finish hot wiring the ignition, so Penelope stays in place. So, the Shadow Sword's gonna go there and completely annihilate this unit. If this unit survives, I will have failed very hard. The neophytes spread out in the back to deny deep strike. I've moved. Mm -hmm. Let's use some things. Go for it. All right. So this unit right here of uh, bikes is going to start off. The sniper is going to shoot into your bike squad with precision. The one bike that can see and the mining laser that can see is going to fire into your big Lancer. giant Lancer. Got Maybe it. I can whittle that down a bit. Maybe. All right. Atlan small arms hitting on fours. Four. I'm okay. I'm mining okay. laser. Mm -hmm. One shot hitting on four. That's a miss. The Jackal Elphus. Okay. Threes. Nope, that goes through. Oh, three damage to your chaplain. Right up the hop. The chaplain has two wounds remaining. Excellent. After this unit has performed a shooting attack, it can make a normal move. So I'm gonna make a normal move of up to six inches. And that six inches is gonna go this way towards the Lancer, mm -hmm. putting me within six inches of the Lancer. And then I can use their ability to shoot their once per battle round uh, demo grenades into that Lancer. Okay. Six guys in the unit, every four up is a mortal wound on that Lancer. Okay. Give me some fours. I got two. Okay. <laughs> so you take them from 25 to 23 wounds. I'm tickling it. You are. Then we're gonna go with the, the Achilles Rich Runner. Mm -hmm. He's gonna fire everything it's got, because it's the only thing it's got is into the big giant guy. Heavy mining laser, D3 shots into the uh, strength nine, I believe it is. That's oh, a wound. That's a six. Yep. Strength 12, minus three. Okay. I'm okay. No. Oh. Now the Sanctus zeroes in on the Chaplain. He misses, even with a command re-roll. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <sighs> Don't re-roll it, folks. I did the wrong thing. It was fun, though. <laughs>
All right, I have one last shooting ability. Oh boy. The entirety of this Shadow Sword can only see one target. I'm gonna try to blow up this unit of bikers. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of points into bikes. Well, you didn't give me anything else, so eat it. Okay, how many shots do you get? first. So I get D3 plus one shots. I'm hoping, of course, for a five or six. You get yeah. D3? It's three, so I get four shots. Here we go. Wounding on twos. <laughs> Strength 24. Yep, wounding on twos. <laughs> No ones, all wounded at minus five that do 12 damage each. Yep, that is one dead, two dead, <laughs> three dead. Oof. That felt good. <laughs> felt really good. Um, and now let's go with some last cannons. I hit none of them. <laughs> all right, well, I managed to kill some bikes, mm -hmm. so that'll be the end of my shooting phase. And then we'll go into the charge phase. Mm -hmm. And of course, my pure strain gene stealers are gonna charge into your chaplain. Gene stealers make a neat charge into the chaplain and it's a turn one warlord duel. How often do we see that? Hitting mm -hmm. on twos, so winning on threes. Well, that was quick. Down goes the chaplain, torn apart by the cruel claws of the patriarch. These right. guys are probably dead in the ensuing turn, mm -hmm. but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use their consolidate mm -hmm. to move within an engagement range of that dreadnought. So they're mm -hmm. all moving within engagement range of the dreadnought. All right, so the ballistic dreadnought is gonna go. Five attacks, four. I saved one of them, two go through. You've killed the one gene sealer and done one wound to another. I know I'm throwing away some of these units here. I know I pushed them far forward, but what it's doing is it's hemming attack in his zone as much as I can. Nick nabs 10 secondary points, killing the bikes and chaplain, and taking multiple no man's land objectives. Great start for the gene stealers. What Nick has done here is he's only got one unit on every one of those objectives, and we only score primary on those center objectives. So Nick has basically telegraphed what I need to do to knock him off of those objectives, and I think I can do that. No doctrine called this turn. He does gain a command point from supply lines and Oath of Moment threatens the bikes in the rear. I wonder how he plans to attack them. Just to be clear, uh, as soon as the unit moves within nine inches or, de or deploys within nine inches, I can uh, pop an ability to possibly do D3 plus three mortal wounds. Yep, I can just drop my drop pod within nine <laughs> and you can mortal wound the drop pod. Space Marine secondaries are engaged on all fronts and secure no man's land. A bit of a tough draw for Tack here. With the bikes dead, he has lost some mobility, so it may be tough to get into position. With the drop pod, engage on all fronts is possible. I think I'm gonna be able to score uh, three points there, not the full five, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm gonna do a death strategy on this dreadnought, which allows it to fall back and shoot. Here comes the knight, smashing through to face the shadow sword. No fear. The Brutalis moves up looking for a charge. The Assault Marines are gonna go for those bikes and they zip up the flank. The Lieutenant is scared of Deep Strike, moves back to cover the corner. The Heavy Intercessors take his spot on the home objective, tough and capable. The Hail Strike Speeder floats up. The Ballistus falls back, but he can still shoot. So if you move for that, that forward just a little bit, you've got line of sight on my, uh, my Shadow Sword. So in a normal scenario, you would think that would be it for the movement phase, but now I've got to figure out where my reinforcements are going to come in. Because you've got a drop pod that can come in first turn, but I didn't give you a lot of options. The drop pod fools Nick and sticks a landing in the far corner, and the Infernus Marines jump out. You've got to think about it. This is the objective that sticks yeah, around. Oh yeah, 100%. It's an right. important objective. So, But there are three turns where these objectives are still valid. There is, yeah. Into, then, uh, the shooting phase. Uh, we're going to start with the Storm Theater first, and that's going to go into that unit there, the uh, Jackals. Bikers! Hitting on threes. Against mm -hmm. all these. And I save two of them to go through. I'm going to take them on my... Stubber's Blair, damaging the quad. The, the Gatling Gun and Frag Storms finish it off. Yay! <laughs> so then, now I'm going to go with the Slammer. Infernus Marines, torch the rest of the bikes with ease. All right, but before they uh, eliminate it entirely, they could come back. Right. Now, this is round one, which means they get plus one. So on a four up, this unit of bikes will come back. See what, let's see it. They're coming back! Nice. His blip will go back behind the church and will bring them on in tax next reinforcement step. Brutalis only has uh, one target. So yeah, I'm just gonna go into those bikes. No AP? I save it. Okay. <laughs> and then it's the uh, the multi melter, which I don't know why I'm shooting it into bikes, but I am. Got nothing else to shoot it at. Uh, oh. Any minus on that? 
AP4. I can't save it even with the cover. D6 plus two, so each one kills a bike. This board is full of terrain. It's really hard to find shooting lanes here. Heavy intercessors follow up, killing two and wounding the quad. Uh, I messed that up. Yeah? Well, I don't think my Brutalis can see anymore. Nope. Yeah, so I messed that up. So Ballistas is now going to go into the Duke Surge. It's going to use the Freg profile. Save them both. Ugh. Invuln, save. They just, natural reflexes, they just kind of like dodge off to the side. Big laser slight. Whoa. Watch one of these. Whoa. Is that your matrix? I can't bend any further than that. <laughs> <laughs> Counter Reese, if you ever watch this for any reason, I think you're cool. <laughs> five ups. Hurrah! I'll make two five ups. You've killed one of them. You've killed two of them. You've killed three of them. The last cannons finish the unit, but the Patriarch is too quick. Well done, Mr. Gene Stealer, sir. As those Gene Stealers died, I gotta see if they're gonna come back. Right. Four up. They're coming back too! Gene Stealer cult is tough to deal with because their units have the ability to come back at full. As you target that Patriarch, mm -hmm. I should have done this earlier when you shot it with the Dreadnought. Sure. I'm gonna spend one command point on one with the Shadows, which is gonna give it stealth and you can't shoot it outside of 12 inches. Okay. Well, luckily I'm within 12. Yeah, but I still get stealth at least. There's something. So, Storm Bolters, Iron Hill, Icarus Rocket Pod are all gonna go into your Patriarch. And then the big laser is gonna try to and tickle. See, tickle that Penelope. Thing. Two Storm Bolters, I am rapid fire range, but now I'm hitting one less because you have stealth. So hitting on fours. Did you just roll four threes? Yeah. So Boom, baby. your command point came in handy. Excellent. Don't save it. Okay. Take your wound. Just one? Just one. Just one measly little wound. Only two wounds from all those guns. The Patriarch is still going. Down to four wounds remaining. His last gun. Yeah, but you targeted it here. to go downtown. Yeah. Hitting on threes. I hit both. Wound both. It'd be four, so you have a six up. I have six, I have sixes. You do. I need two sixes, buddy. I've seen you do this before. I got two sixes. No, you didn't. Yeah, no, I didn't. <laughs> I got none. <laughs> All right, how much damage does it do? Uh, how many wounds does it have? 24. Um, so I can't kill it. No, you can't kill it. But I could maim it really hard. You could really maim it. Uh, so I got a three, so that's a six. Yep. And that would be a five, so that's 11. I'm going to use my, yeah, I'm going to use my, um, my chassis ability to reroll one of these. Excellent. One, one, one. So I did a total of 12 damage. 12 damage. You have half killed it. Yep. It is down to 12 wounds remaining. You know That's all I need. I only need 12 paying, wounds. Paying the points for that Lancer to take a Shadow Sword to half is... Yeah. I'm, I'm good with it. All right, so uh, I'm going to take uh, six shots from the Shock Lance. Finally, Creamsicle of First waves his lance at the Patriarch and zaps him into oblivion. <laughs> Shocking. Okay, so uh, charges. into charges. The big knight charges the jackals and uses a neat turn to tag the objective. I love how he's not even bothering to look at the unit. He's just like kicking them as he goes by. It's well, like... no, because he cares about the big guy. That's what? why he's facing down. This is the match we wanted to see. Uh, Brutalis, does it want to charge? Of course it wants to charge. The Brutalis fails his charge. So the Lancer has the ability to use tank shock for free. Nice. So I'm going to do that. It's 20 dice plus two. Is it really? Yes. And then plus <laughs> and then plus two. It's twenty-two dice. So I'm rolling twenty-two. You're rolling dice. twenty-two dice on five ups. Do mortal wounds. This guy's really good in close combat. Why do you think I killed him last time we played with him? <laughs> He's scary. Let me try to find twenty-two dice. <laughs> <laughs> Is dead? Oh yeah. <laughs> Thought I could bother looking at it. That's dead. That that's not just dead. That's squished. On a four up, the bikers come back. This unit will not come back, like ever. That was brutal. Mission accomplished, I got myself two objectives, but now we're gonna need to see if that Ceres's Lancer can survive a Shadow Sword. Three points on engage and five for securing no man's land. Grants tack eight secondary points, a solid round one. Tight game, heading into round two, 10 to eight for the Gene Stealers. So everything's gotta kill that knight. Let's take him down. Nick pulls cleanse and behind enemy lines. Interesting pulls. He will need to be both careful and aggressive to pull this off. No primary points because the cult has been knocked back from the mid objectives. No extra command points for Nick. He fails two four up chances. My 
tank is going to stay still, so that'll hit on threes. Because it's really the only target. Okay. We, this is the turn that I need to kill this. Because if I don't, you move forward, you charge, you kill everything here. Mm -hmm. It'll be rough. Time to do what I can. <laughs> right. right. So that means I'm going to keep this guy here to try to do the same thing. Neophytes with the Nexus boot up to get a shot at Crimsicle the first. The other Neophytes move into the mansion in the middle's bottom floor. All right, so then everything else is just staying still. Let's bring in all my reinforcements. Bikes come in near the drop pod. The Acolytes use the perfect ambush stratagem to get his demolition charges in range of the Tall Knight. The Aberrants deep strike in, hoping for a charge. That Omega objective is heating up already. Uh, are you done your reinforcements? I'm done my reinforcements. Okay, so I am going to use my teleport homer. The Terminators use their teleport homer in rapid ingress response. Yup, this is the objective to watch. Let's uh, fire everything. So the first thing I'm gonna start with for the shooting phase is the Achilles Ridge Runner. Because if I manage to get a hit, you're gonna be additional minus one AP for everything else that fires at it. Okay. So Ridge Runner's gonna actually fire everything into this big knight. So first of all, the big mining laser, D3 shots. Mm -hmm. Do you hit with it? I do. do. So he's AP, yep. Uh, strength. It does not wound his stubbers. Mm -hmm. And I wounded none. All right, well, that's okay. The whole, tried. the whole point of him was to get additional AP. Sure. Then I'm gonna go with the saboteur. And the saboteur is gonna use the grenade stratagem for free, no command points, and it's gonna do the grenade against your big knight. D6, and three mortal wounds. Sure. So he's down to 20. And then we're gonna go with this unit right here. Okay. All these guys are gonna fire everything into this, uh, this knight. So I'm gonna use for free, it's normally two CP, coordinated trap and that's gonna allow me to get plus one to wound with all the weapons here. Two mining lasers, hitting on fours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mining laser! Uh, it goes through. D6 plus one damage. Just two damage. <laughs> and then eight shots from the regular stubbers. Fives. Uh, AP one! Yep, I'm okay. <laughs> then let's go with all these demo charges. Let's go with okay. all these demo charges. They also have hand flamers, might as well. You're in range of a wound, of an objective marker, aren't you? Yes. And you just got reroll wound rolls of one as well. Okay. Perfect. All the things. Okay. Four demo charges. Okay. Uh, that have D6 plus three shots. And a reroll, and I got a, one more. One more. So that is, that is a good amount of hits. It is. All right. And then this is strength 12. So we're going to force. Pretty good. Uh, so I feel three. Two, four, six damage. Okay. So I'm down to 12. Five flamers. Uh, take two more. <laughs> Good job, head so, flamers. So he's down to 10. <laughs> then lastly, sniper. the sniper has got one shot. Yep. Hitting her. <laughs> <or> it... <laughs> no, okay. So the only thing I have left to shoot is yep. my shadow sword. Okay. And I can't miss this. I can't screw this up. As much as I'd love to split fire and try to maybe kill some damage off this, Everything from Penelope the Shadow Sword into the night. Four Laz Cannons. Okay. Hitting, hitting on, on fours. Strength of 12, so on fours to wound. I need a four. That is a two. D6 plus one damage. Yep. That is four damage. I'm d you're down to six wounds remaining. This could be game changing right here. I wounded both. Okay. You have to save both of them to I live. Because it's flat 12 damage. It's a, what, a four up? Nope, this is four up. Oh, don't do this. Don't do this to me. I, I need this. My heart is in my chest right now. <laughs> it's just like. What? Oh, 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 oh. oh, yeah! Wait, no. No! <laughs> you, you know that's oh, why yeah, I, I know, I know. I just don't want to happen. So, re rolling. On a four up, he lives. On a four up, he lives. Ah! Yeah! Creamsicle the first is down. I repeat, the knight is down. Nick must hate popsicles. Now, what the Lancer has done in this list is it's kept most of the White Scars alive. Nick was not able to dedicate a lot of shooting to other parts of my army. So, yes, that's a lot of points, but now I can counterattack. Aberrants go for a big charge into the Assault Intercessors, and they sweep in. So, uh, we're going to start with the Aberrants themselves for sure. sustained hits. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I lose one guy. And then, um, and then the rest of the Aberrants had have heavy power weapons. Here, so I probably will Armor of Contempt then. And Nick is going to vect it with his Primus. Armor of Contempt will cost an extra command point for the rest of the game. Three attacks each, hitting on threes with sustain. <laughs> Two more die. 
Two more die. So I've only got two left in the squad. And then lastly, the Abominate himself strikes you. Uh, hitting on threes, twos. I survived with one. Ah, oh, it was so close. So close to the whole squad. Not bad turn two for me. I managed to score my objectives. I did really well in my secondaries. If my big tank can survive another round of firepower and I can get another round of shooting with it, that would be excellent. The saboteur cleanses for three points and behind enemy lines is discarded for a command point. Kept to just three points this round, the score is 13 to eight, going into the bottom of two. Extend battle lines and area denial are great objectives for TAC. He should be able to score well here. In order to score area denial, I need to kill those acolytes. However, I also need to be within six inches of that center objective. So this is gonna be tough. No extra command points. Battle shock is passed on the lonely jump processor Sarge. In your command phase, before you move on to your movement phase, I'm gonna use the Clam of Us's ability to adjust one of these blips by six inches. No points on primary is tough. But hey, that's the supply drop, and the players know the stakes. As you move within range of the saboteur, saboteur is gonna use its, detonate its remote mines. Dick! <laughs> What's the range of that? 12 inches. Oh, nice. Okay. So uh, basically you stepped on a bunch of bombs. Okay. And on a two up, you receive D3 plus three mortal wounds. So you do, this dreadnought receives D3 plus three mortal wounds. You receive two, three, four, five mortal wounds. Okay. Boom! I think that leaves them with seven wounds. The Sarge falls back from the Aberrants. Okay, so I still hold the objective currently. Correct. Just get closer onto the objective. So they're on the bottom floor. Tack is moving up. He has to maintain pressure, even under the big guns of Penelope. Then I'm going to just uh, advance my lieutenant. That Lancer is looking for a shootout with that big tank, Penelope. Hoo-hoo, he's brave. Now, Nick gets to move in with his returning bikes and gene stealers. The price of tax aggression is easy charges for the gene stealers next round. So then what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna start the shooting with the assault intercessors back there. So they're going to fire the heavy bolt pistols at the saboteur. I oh no. <laughs> or everything from the front here, that's gonna go to your aberrants. Okay, I'm gonna spend one command point on one with the shadows, and sure. that's gonna be on my aberrants right there. Mm -hmm. Going down to one, uh, that means they cannot be targeted outside of 12, and it also gives them stealth. So I think that land speeder cannot target them anymore. That's fine, uh, all this is flaring. <laughs> yes, that is, that is, uh, that is rough. <laughs> <laughs> you can retarget it, yeah. Yeah, so I've already declared this one. Yeah. So now I need to continue with this one. Uh, the storm speeder's gonna put everything into uh, those guys. Gun, I think is... He kills one of them. And then the dev wounds kill another three. And the dev wounds kill another three. Lancer, big laser gun, is gonna go into the Shadow Sword. And then all of its small arms fire is gonna go into... All right, I get two shots, two <laughs> tries of this. Oh, Come oh on. boy, all right. I hit with both. Oh no, oh no, T13. The winning on threes, because it's strength 14. Yeah. Winning on threes. Come on! Yes. Uh, I got one. I am going to use the Lancer's ability to reroll, but it may fail. Nope. So two. So two six ups. <sighs> two six ups. You could kill him right here. You don't get any sixes. D6 plus three each. Oh. With a reroll. So I need ones and twos. Ah, double ones! Oh! Yeah! So I've done. All right, well. Six, seven, so you've done eight damage so far. So I'm gonna reroll with the... Yeah. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. 10, 11. Oh, he's got one wound left. He's got one wound left. So I'm gonna command point the other one. The other one, so you hopefully don't roll a one. Yeah. So he's dead on anything but a one. He's dead. There we go. He's dead. <laughs> that was good. All right, does he explode? Epic if he does, because there's a lot of things around here. Don't... Please. Yes! <laughs> no! <laughs> it's such a big explosion, too. <laughs> oh, no. D6 plus two. That's so bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Sanctus is dead. Nick Sanctus is down. Three gene stealers die. 
the quad is wounded, and ten neophytes die in the conflagration. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> that was that was worth the command point. There we go. The shadow sword is done. Nick loves his explosions, but will he after this? Yeah, that was worth the command point. <laughs> I'm gonna keep shooting my lances. <laughs> On fours. You shoot by one. Yes. All right, they all go through. Three killed. Three more guys. Yep. Heavy server. Uh, I save one, one goes through, you killed another. Trip. And then the rocket pod. How many shots do I get? Two saves, any AP on that? Oh, AP one. No, both go through, you've killed two more. It's just the Primus. What a brave dude. Now, that unit will come back. Will it? I rolled a three, which because of battle line, will come in. So I gotta put a blip down for them somewhere. I'm gonna put the blip on the bottom floor right over here. My <laughs> army's starting to fall apart. You're falling apart so much, Nick. I don't have any targets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running out of things to shoot. <laughs> so the, the heavy intercessors really only have one target. Yep. So they're just going to go into the Primus. Kill the Primus. Oh, poor Primus. Shooting. He's got a five of them vulnerable save. I say two of them, two go through. Two wounds remaining. Uh, I'm yep. going to split fire for days. Last cannon. <laughs> go into the Witch Runner. Storm Bolters. Primus. Frag Storm. Acolytes. All right. Bless this red knot into the Primus. Let's see if we can do it. One. I save it. Frag storm. Four up for the guys in cover. I save two of them. One goes through. Trip. Let's see if I can kill a rich runner. Right here and here. Trip. Didn't get it. How much damage? D6 plus one. Can't kill him, but you can damage him. Uh, six. Trip. He's got two wounds remaining. All right, then you know what it is? It's going to be the twin Icarus on the Vitalis Dreadnought. It's going to go into the Primus, and then the Multi Melta is going to go into the Ridge Runner. All right, so Multi Melta hitting on threes against the Ridge Runner. I only will. <laughs> you can do it, buddy! You can do it! Strict nine! Oh, I almost so it was close. Boom! <laughs> You're in rapid fire range of my Icarus. <laughs> so here we go. He's gonna live! The Brutalis is really good. Uh, he died! All right, so you still got more shooting. I do. Uh, so the Inference Marines are now gonna go into the uh, Aberrants. And I get... Uh, nine five ups. Three go down. Oh my, that was unexpected. They never die when I fight them. They fail battle shock to boot. <laughs> so I've got extend battle lines without even having to do anything else. Wow. On to the Terminators. And so what the Terminators are going to do is I've got uh, four in there with Storm Bolters. Yep. I am in rapid fire range and then uh, one heavy fire. The Terminators don't do any damage. The feel no pain has kicked in. That's how it's That's supposed to That's what was supposed to happen last time. Deathwind launcher into your bikes. So how many shots do I get? I don't save it. One damage to the I quad. Do. Yep. Charges. The yeah. charge that I really, really need. This is the important is, one. Uh, that's the important one. We have no command points. I just need a nine. Just a casual nine. You've done it. That's a five. Yeah. Brutalis Dreadnought is going to try to go for the saboteur. Oh, of course you are. You need you need a ten. I do need a to ten. get around that wall. You know what? He's feeling he's feeling frisky. Nope, five. The Terminators are going to go into the aberrants. Uh, they're in. Now the Terminators jump the Aberrants. It's on! Terminators fighting. I'm gonna roll four, four up Fimo Pains. They kill one Aberrant. They are so tough. The Abominant, however, sledgehammers a single Terminator into oblivion. End of turn, and I've got a lot of my assets still available to me. However, I cannot take my foot off the pedal. Extend Battle Lines brings tack to 13. That's a tie game, folks. Secondary draw is Storm Hostile Objective and Extend Battle Lines. So I gotta take an objective away from you. So really just that one, that's gonna be tough. It's crawling with Terminators. Well, nothing a few demo grenades can't solve. Nick will take a healthy lead as well as scoring five points on his primary. Supply lines bring Nick up to two command points. But a few more commands, uh, command phase things to do. One. Nick brings back eight acolytes across two units. Stamping out these insurrectionists is a job and a half. The aberrants are going to see if they uh, take a battle shock test. Aberrants fail battle shock. The flamers and such are just too much. Pure strange gene sealers need a test, and they're good. They're good. Saboteur is going to move exactly one inch forward, so that it's now within range of, of for the grenade stratagem. <laughs> 
bikes move up. They blast the Brutalis for four mortal wounds with drive-by demolition. The Neophytes advance a big six onto the Omega objective. I'm gonna overwatch with the uh, Inferno Springs. Into the Neophytes, I think this is a smart play. Uh, I think you might have wiped them. I wiped the unit. You wiped the unit! So one command point for a character and an entire unit. Does the unit come back? So it's on a four. They're coming in! Man. The neophytes keep coming back. <sighs> I gotta put another uh, another blip down. And as they move within range, they are going to do their drive-by demolitions okay. into the uh, the squad of flamers. Mm -hmm. They drive by demo as well and kill an Infernus Marine with mortal wounds. The Gene Stealers zip forward, grabbing the mid objective. He keeps taking the center of the board, which is denying me area denial. All right, I have moved everything. Okay. Everything's on the table, everything's where it needs to be. So in the shooting phase, first mm -hmm. of all, I'm gonna do the grenade stratagem. This unit right here, mm -hmm. and they're gonna grenade this this unit right here. I've only got three ones I up. need three four-ups right here. Yep. And I did it. You did it. Those claws are still clean, too bad. And then the Reductus Saboteur is gonna do the same thing and you can do it for free. And take uh, four more mortal wounds. Okay, so you kill two. All right, and then in the shooting phase, I'm gonna shoot the Reductus Saboteur. He's got two guns, one of them's out of range. Five. Three ups. Uh, you do a wound. All right. So it comes down to these guys here. Mm -hmm. They're all gonna fire into the flamers. The jackal shooting fails. Furnace Marines stand tall. Uh, I'm okay. And uh, that's it for shooting. Let's go into the charge phase. Let's go into the charge phase. So those bikers are all gonna charge the one remaining sergeant of the assault intercessors. Three. The problem is you can't go over this thing. Man reroll! <laughs> Down to zero command points. And I got uh, six, seven, eight. There okay. we go. Now you can. The intent is to try to get a bunch of them onto the objective if I can. Piling units onto that bottom objective. Tack's not gonna know what to hit him. All right, let's fight. Okay. All right, four ops to hit. I hit one, two, three, four, five, six times. Nice. And they are strength four. So, we so know wounding on fours. Yep. And I wounded you three times at minus two. Minus two, okay. One damage each, so you gotta fail two of these. So I have five ups. Yep. Fail two of them, please, and I, kill them. I don't want to die. <laughs> but I don't want to die. Please. Yay! Yeah, super dead. And then I consolidate. So all five are on the objective. Then as a defender, I fight first. So I still have uh, four of them. There's three wounds to take. So both are still alive, and now we're gonna smack you back. Yep. The Terminators and Aberrants tussle. Not much damage, though. Uh, I take one. Full 10 on secondary. Nick is jumping up the scoreboard. 28 to 13 for the Gene Stealers. Area denial and attempting target are tax objectives here. <laughs> I can get them all. <laughs> you can. All of them are good targets for you to get. Uh, come get the center one. Okay, let's fight over the center. Oath of Moment on the Aberrants. Good choice. They need to die. Nick moves his blip with the Nexos. Adaptive strategy for TAC puts the Heavy Intercessors into Assault Doctrine, giving them advance and charge. Still no primary points for TAC. The Gene Stealers keep coming. The Heavy Intercessors advance too, looking to beat up the remaining Gene Stealers. I've just moved my Assault Intercessors uh, in, I've moved my tank over there simply because I want to score at least eight points when that objective clicks into turn four. Terminators fall back, will be able to charge back in. I'm gonna overwatch them. With the Jackals? With the Jackals. Sure. Mm -hmm. D6 from the Flamer. Six. Nice. Just need one wound given. Minus one. Uh, no, you don't kill them. Oh yeah. no, it was so close, I thought that was my moment. All right, so at the end of your movement phase, I get to bring in my blips. So that's one 10-man unit of ac uh, acolytes and one 10-man unit of neophytes. Now we're seeing the real power of the Gene Stealer Cult, which is just bringing bodies back and overloading objectives and just good board control. Then going into the shooting phase, I'm going to start with the speed splits fire and wings a bike. On it the guy back here, and he's down to one wound remaining. The Terminators pump bolters and fire into the aberrants. Threes. All right, on sixes. I got three sixes! Jeez! Woo! Nick. 
This is on the Aberrants, you said? This is on the Aberrants, yeah. Yeah, three sixes, I'll take it. Uh, one wound goes through, and so a four, four feel of pain. Don't get it. So you did kill the one, you did kill the unit of Aberrants. Do they come back oh, on yeah. a five up? Please don't. They're back! <laughs> I love these guys. Oh boy. The Aberrants will never die. And you know what, this is the best place to put them because I just can keep feeding you more troops to go take the objective. So I'm gonna put, a, put another blip right there. You're not making this easy on me. No, it's my objective. One Furnace Marine is gonna go into the uh, Aberrant and then the other three are gonna go into the Jackals. Got it, that, 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 that's a tough choice there. Ah, uh, it is. The Abominant is hard to kill. Abominant? Abominant. Feel no pain of one damage and I pass it. Okay, uh, then three into the Jackals. How many flamers have shot into that corner? It's a backyard barbecue. Three, zippoed. And then the ballistas spread is gonna fire everything into the bikes. Bikes. Ballistas, blast the bikes into next week. Do they come back on a five up? Yep. No, they're not coming back. Okay. You've killed them for good this time. Lancer looks over at the saboteur and vaporizes the pesky foe. Good riddance. All right, so it all comes down to this charge. If you can get on this charge, you can get the tempting target and you can get area denial. So I need a seven. That's a five. All so right. We're in the command point. Let's see this charge. It's epic. It's, it's, Ooh boy. it's like 10 points. Please. Oh no. Six. Okay, I fail. What it means is it's always mad scramble of can I bring enough forces into to kill that, to clear that off? Uh, so what's gonna happen here is I'm going to, uh, charge the flamers into your jackals. There's my 10. <laughs> yeah, I'll multi-charge the terminators into the aberrant, as well as the uh, bikes. So they're in. Okay, uh, I'm gonna start with the terminators. A terminator slaughters the bikes, but their friends only scratch the abominant. Do they come back? Nope. nope. You've, fi you've now killed Finally all the bikes. Killed. All the bikes are now gone. There's no bikes coming in. The Abominant slams a Terminator, but he is still kicking at the end of the phase. Tough round for Tack, no score in round three. His luck will have to change if he's gonna quell the uprising. All right, I've got very little left. Like, it's there's not much left on the table, but I'm just gonna do as much damage as I can. Bring it down and assassinate for Nick's secondaries. The center alpha objective disappears. No primary points for the cult. The Aberrant fails his battle shock, and the Gene Stealers do as well. Each player up to one command point. Nick gets an extra, so up to two. All right, so now I'm gonna advance these guys. Neophytes advance, hungry for a fight. So yeah, I will overwatch the first unit. You did last time. Cover. Yikes, burninating the countryside. To survive, other acolytes move in for more flamer action. Acolytes, do the grenade strat and kill another in furnace. All right, and then the hand flamers into those same guys. A flamethrower duel, yikes. I take a wound. Flamethrower duel, yes it is, that's exactly what it is. Um, and then they just got my shot. Do you kill the one last guy? Nope. And then we're gonna go with this unit. This unit's gonna do four free because the Nexus is right there. A coordinated trap, which means that basically two units focus on something and each get plus one to the wound roll. Mining laser, zap the ballistas, and he needs a CP to hit twice. Which I make, so he's okay. And then we're just gonna charge him. Okay. The Acolytes charge into the backyard barbecue, looking to whack the Infernus Marines. Only Infernus, let's see if I can bring him down. All right, uh, so- No, one more charge. Oh, I've got one more big charge! You do. Oh, that's what I was gonna spend the command point on. That's right, I'm gonna save that for that. Oh, Silly no. me. I need a 10 to you get do. in there with you know these. You're gonna, you're gonna make it. I can make it. I'm gonna make it. I believe. I believe in you too. It's a four armed emperor! Nope. Oh, that's no. That's close though. Oh. That's close. Acolytes, clawing at the Infernus, do six wounds. Decent saves, one Infernus Marine survives. Okay, objective is mine. Now we have to go to ongoing combats. Can the Terminators kill the Abominant? Well, right, we'll see. The Terminators clap back and saw apart the Abominant with chain fists. He's dead. Does he, though? Come back. Come back. Arise from the grave. He does. He does. Okay. No points for Nick this round. This is still a tight game. Nick drops both objectives. He needs objectives he can score. 28 to 13 into turn four. Assassination and area denial are the draws after a new orders is used on behind enemy lines. 
Tack does score eight points for holding the bottom objective in the ruin. With the Nexus, I've moved this token forward for my Abominates coming in. My heavy intercessor are finally gonna get into the center of the table, and that's gonna score me five points on area denial. Okay, and then awesome. I'm going to, because I'm in the Salt Doctrine, I'm going to advance my uh, jump pack because there's no objective there anymore. Might as well. All right, and then my reinforcements come in on the blip and all the operants have appeared. Nick's neophytes take the corner for fun and profit. We'll start off with the easy stuff, the things that only have a single target. Yeah. Yeah, everything from that tank is going to go into the guys in front of him. Right, that's a big deal. Going threes. The Lancer chips away at the Neophytes. Heavy intercessors split fire. This is the Gene Stealers. I don't want The Neophyte over there. Uh, there's only two left there. AP1. The Neophytes are gunned down, but will they come back? They will blip in the corner. To possibly score secondaries that may come up. The Speeder splits fire and tries to drop the Abominant and the Acolytes. Acolytes get one with the shadows. Abominant? See what happens? Four ups, same both. The Abominant takes no damage and the Acolytes lose two. <laughs> Nothing is dying. Ballistus frags the Neophytes, killing the whole squad, and the Nexus is vaporized with laser cannons. Terminators. Heavy Flamer into the Acolytes. Into the Acolytes, and then the two Storm Bolters will go into the Abominant. The abominant. You all go so, through? Yeah, so four ups. Four ups for Philo Pains. Abominant takes a wound and the flamethrower torches five acolytes. So we're going to charge the Terminators into the Abominant? Terminators into the Abominant! Can you kill him? Speeder is in two. And then I'm going to Tank Shock for one command point. Tank Shock. <laughs> that didn't do anything. Uh, no happy attack. If the Abominant survives, I will score 15 points at the beginning of my next turn, assuming Battle Shock and all that. But if you kill him, I can't do that. There's no way for me to score points at the end of the turn. So I need to kill him, which you is really tough to, tough to do. It, it's tougher than it looks, yeah. Okay, so uh, hitting on fours. Yeah. I have 16 four ups to make. Yes. Ha! I've seen you do it. And I have four, four wounds. wounds remaining. So I'm gonna roll three at a time for drama's sake. Really? All right, okay, I've taken two. Okay. Um, <laughs> for drama's sake, okay? Okay, pass two, pass two more. I still have two wounds left. I still have two wounds left. Okay, one wound left now. Okay. All right. One wound left. And he's dead. <laughs> Success. Five points for assassination and five for area denial. That is a huge round for the White Scars. Up 18 points to 31 and the lead. This is gonna come down to the wire. I didn't manage to hold that home objective, so I didn't score points on it. Nick draws a tempting target and deploy homers. Nick has a great draw here. This objective gets out of here. Yep. And that objective is now worth 15 points. I can get ahead on this scoreboard. And then I just gotta mob that home objective with everything I can and just hold on for dear life. In the movement phase, I'm gonna move up to be near deployment zone. Are you gonna overwatch me? I'm gonna kinda of bait out his overwatch here. No, I am not gonna. Uh, not gonna overwatch there, nope. you're gonna overwatch over here. All right, so, so those guys are on the objective. Mm -hmm. My acolytes are gonna stay still. Yep. I don't wanna get overwatched. No, nope. but you're moving those. Yeah, 100% I'm gonna move so these. So then I'm gonna overwatch those. Yeah, you can overwatch these guys. Overwatch into the aberrants does a single wound. All right, well now they've done the overwatch there. The acolytes move onto the objective and out of line of sight of the tank. So I'm gonna use one command point for the Grenade stratagem on the Accolades against the Terminators. Sure. Six, four ups! I got two, two mortal wounds please on sure. the Terminators. So one's down to one wound, because he killed the other one that was there. Yeah. You do. And then I'm gonna shoot with those three Accolades. One's cooling system finally fail, and the Terminator burns. All right, mm -hmm. charge face. Mm -hmm. my, my Aberrants are gonna charge, multi-charge. Oh, that's so tempting to, I don't wanna fail that. The Aberrants make the big double charge. This is one for all the cookies. I'm so, gonna risk to try to kill both. <laughs> all right, here we go. Aberrants! I need a six to charge both of them. Yeah, yeah 10, go. bring them all in, please. Okay. 
they are in. The Acolytes charge the speeder, hoping to keep its guns a bit quieter. And let's fight. Okay. You have no command points to interrupt. I don't. The Abominants will go. The Aberrants smash the Terminators down. Threes and twos. As well as a Marine. And then can the remainder two kill that last Terminator? Yeah, we'll see. Six dice, hitting on threes. On threes. So I feel like one of these is dead. Yeah. Hero Hammer, please shine. <laughs> Double ones! Pile! Pile driver! Bonk! Double bonk. ones. Double ones. And then the last three guys into your vehicle down there. The speeder escapes damage and bonks an acolyte. Ten points on secondaries. Put Nick into the lead. 38-31. I'm up by seven points. Seven points. Tax score is no primary because I hold the objective. I can score no more points in this game. It's all down to tack. It's tax game to lose. This is probably one of the hardest missions I've played in a really long time. There's only one objective to score with and I'm out of position to try to get it. So I've got to make some real desperate plays here. And then I'm going to try to get an extra one because I would really, really, really want an extra one. Yeah. I do get it. Do you? Defend Stronghold and Cleanse will not help him here. Only six points available from secondaries mean that TAC needs to take Omega Objective to win this game, period. It is worth 15 victory points and the game. Because you score at the bottom of the turn. It's super close, TAC. Comes out of this last turn, this last move. You're seven points behind. It's so freaking close. I could adapt a strategy, the Heavy Intercessors, and make that a really easy charge. The problem is, they will die to the aberrants. All right, so I'm spending one command point. Adaptive strat on the jumper assessors will allow them to advance and charge. And yes, charge. I like where this is going. It's all gonna come down to the combat phase. Luckily for me, what you've done here is you've put them into the building, which yep. means there's windows all yep. there. So everything over there yep. can fire. Uh, so I am going to charge, I'm gonna make them. The Otha moment, Otha target. target. Target, makes sense, makes sense. So then I'm going to advance the assault uh, jump pack, and if oh. I get big here, I'm hoping for low here. Nope, oh, that's not so enough. Only 14. Can I point? Uh, not worth it there. You want to be for the charge roll, correct? Yeah. The jumper assessors advance 14 inches, and we'll need a great charge roll to help out here. Uh, that's an eight-inch charge. Eight Though inches. if I start to kill those guys, then uh, then no dice. Go further, yeah. The rest of the tanks move into range. So then uh, going to. Oh, do you have any command points? I do. So you can yep. make them 12. Yep. Uh, the dreadnought's in, the tank would be out. I'll take everything I can get. <laughs> I'm gonna start shooting with the storm speeder. The speeder splits its shots. The Gatling mowing down the acolytes. They're gone. That allows me to fire the, uh, the two blast weapons into them. Uh, so hitting on fours, of which I only score two, and then I'm going to reroll because you're my ultimate moment target. <laughs> uh, I get to another one. That was a really low roll, so I'm hopefully getting those out of the way now. Uh, wounding on fives. I uh, got a one, a two, and a two. Um, so reroll another one. Nope, nothing. Okay, right on. Uh, so I'm going to increase the AP by one on them. Makes sense. Canceling out the cover. Now, can they survive the barrage of shots about to lay into them? Uh, so these are the heavy bolters. All right, on sixes, feel no pains. All but one. Take one wound. So take one wound. Fives for cover. Saves one. one. Saves the other. That's what I need to see. Crack. The ballistas only manages to kill one. Wow, so much feel no pain. This is the last cannons? Yep. Both hit. Uh, oh no. Strict 12, they're T... They're T6. So the two does wound? Yep. Oh right, the priority the, target. The lieutenant. Lieutenant's like doing awesome yeah. for you. Ah, yeah. only one. Ah, <laughs> yes. Uh, no save. No save. Uh, how much damage does it do? Big. Three. Feel no pains. Save them both on double sixes! Steven Boxcars! Roll one more for me, please. What's that? Oh, it's supposed to pull one? Plus D6 one? plus one. Another Make one. it anyway. Nick is pulling out all of his feel no pains. I am not getting enough through. I've only killed one aberrant, and now it's gonna come down to charges. 
Yeah. Woo. Oh, so now I'm just gonna survive the charge. Can he charge onto the objective, kill the aberrants? Can the aberrants make all their five up feel no pains? Okay, so I have a seven inch charge with the, I will go with the assault intercessor first. Can I make a seven inch charge? Are you sorry? Forearm Emperor, if you're listening, Steven Boxcar, if you're listening. Oh, you want me to have a Steven Boxcar? No, no, for me. Oh. It's, it's like an Australian six. We roll it. You got a cramp point. This is what you saved it for. I know, but I also had a tank shot. Ah. No right. tank shot was wouldn't do much. All right, so the command point here. Yeah, got to roll it. On you a need, seven inch. You need shirt. the seven. So close. No, it's a three. Oh no. Okay, then oh, I've, oh. I've got a six inch charge with the uh, uh, heavy intercessors. <gasps> oh no! I he rolled another three. <sighs> and he wins again. Well, that's it, folks. It was a nail biter down to the wire, but Tack tripped on the finish line. Oh, what a way to lose the game! 48 to 41 with paint makes this a seven point game. Fantastic, hard fought by both players. Nick played so well, and Tack made heroic moves, giving him so many chances to wrest victory from the jaws of defeat. There is a ton to learn for players new and old here, lots of nuanced moves born of experience as epic a game of Warhammer as they come. We really hope you enjoyed it as much as Nick and Tack did. Thank you to Deadly Print for the amazing upgrades and sponsoring one of the craziest games of Warhammer I have ever seen. If you like what we do, please consider supporting us through YouTube membership or Patreon. You'll get exclusive releases as well as behind the scenes interviews, early access to most of our shows and access to our Discord, the most happening 40K community around. The dice told quite the tale today, and we hope you all get out there and have your dice tell grimdark stories of heroism in the face of terrible odds. And until we see you next time, play on. Aberrants won me the game. Aberrants, you rock. I need 30 of these guys. I would love to play this mission again, and I would love to play Nick. Nick, you owe me a rematch on this one. I can't wait for the next Gene Stealer battle.